everything really just felt like it was clicking for you guys. What did you bring right out of the gates that got Well, the off? pace um, pace out of the gates was um, fantastic. You know, Draymond was pushing the ball like crazy, and uh, we just had them on their heels. Um, even in, you know, semi-transition where after a made basket, uh, Draymond was pushing it, Steph pushing it, Wiggs. Um, so a lot of a lot of good stuff, and that helped us. Um, you know, kind of take control of the game right away. Was that pace something you guys talked about entering the game and that first play of the game, the lob, the Wiggins, was that by design? Uh, the pace is, uh, I, I think we're number one in the pace, in the league in pace this year. Uh, so it, it's not anything we talked about. It's just, uh, that's um, it's just how, how we play. So uh, we always want to push the ball and, and um, you know, we talk about pushing it and hitting singles, just making the simple play. And I thought we did that for uh, most of the night. And then we got a, got a little scattered there in the second half. But um, that's why that big cushion was so helpful. You guys are 5-1 and one ever since that team meeting took place um, up to the Phoenix loss, I believe it was. How, how vital is just Draymond Green to this team's identity and kind of getting everybody back on track yeah. with this season? Well, you know, I've, I've said for years, Draymond is kind of the heartbeat of our team. Um, he's the guy who kind of makes everything go. And, you know, he's the motivator. He's, the, you know, the, the bully, you know, who protects his, his uh, you know, his teammates on the floor, and, uh, talks trash. And, um, but this guy is just so good. At basketball, I mean, it's like when you just look at the total game. I know, you know, people focus on his defense, uh, but you know, he had 11 assists tonight, no turnovers. Um, his defense—he was all over the place defensively. Um, you know, he looked to attack. He scored 19 points. Um, you know, he is having a tremendous season, um, All-Star caliber play, and. Uh, Taking care of his body, you know, really um, making sure he gets his work in every day. Draymond has been fantastic. You mentioned how playing with pace is, is a part of your guys' DNA. Earlier in the year, though, you were saying how when an opponent would make a basket, then you're in the half court offense. It's harder for you guys to push that pace. Has this increase in pace lately? Can that be attributed to just the chemistry coming together, people figuring out how to play with each other, where to be? Yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, we've settled into to some roles. You know, guys are comfortable now with, um, you know, when they're going to play, who they're going to play with. Uh, so I think that's been helpful. Um, I feel f good about our pace even after made baskets. It's after free throws that it's really hard to play with pace because the defense is, is, is just set. Um, so we had... Uh, that we had given up zero free throws after the first quarter, and um, and we scored 47 points, and then they shot 29 in the last three quarters, and that's why the game got jumbled. So um, until we can really put it together uh, for four quarters and uh, you know understand the value of defending without fouling, not just to avoid free throws, but to keep our pace going and to keep our opponents on their heels. Uh, we're not going to get where we need to go, but um, the good thing is the uh, everything is trending in the right direction and our guys are playing hard and playing well and um, it's fun to watch. It's been a few weeks now since Dante came back from his, his hamstring, just I mean, 19 points tonight, I think. So what, have you, what did you see from him tonight? Well, what I love about Dante is that he, uh, you know, he understands the game, the ball moves, um, he understands how we play. Uh, so he's a screen setter, he's a cutter, um, and then he's, he's our best uh, you know, on-ball defender um, in terms of putting pressure on the ball in the backcourt and, and um, you know, in the half court as well. So he's, he's what you want off the bench. You know, you're, you're always looking for energy off the bench, and Dante brings that every time he steps on the floor. Thank you. That is cool.